Hello guys. So I would like us to look at um, how to go about this question. Expand exponential sine x up to the term in x raised to power four using Maclaurin series, hence integrate that. Okay, so Maclaurin series, let's uh, come on to the solution. You can express a function f of x as f of zero plus x f prime of zero plus x squared over two factorial f double prime of zero plus x cubed over three factorial f third prime of zero plus x raised to power four over four factorial f fourth prime of zero. So we go all the way up to the term x raised to power four. Now our f of x, is exponential sine x. So what is our f of zero? Exponential sine of zero. Sine of zero is a zero. So exponential zero will give us one. Then we go on to uh, uh, evaluate f prime of x. So we differentiate this function. Now we're going to use the chain rule. So first of all, differentiate the exponential. Differentiating the exponential, we'll just get exponential sine x. And then multiply by the derivative of like what is inside the bracket, that is sine x. The derivative of sine x is uh, cos x. So this will be our f prime of x. And this is like the short form when you're using chain rule. However, we could just use the long form like, let's call this y. y is equal to exponential sine x. And then let this be u. So we know that if we want to get dy dx when we've, uh, so let u be equal to sine x. dy dx will be given by dy du du dx. What is dy du? Now this is y is equal to, let me write it, y is equal to exponential u. So dy du will be exponential u multiplied by du dx, differentiating u with respect to x, that will give us cos x. So this is simply exponential u and our u is sine x cos x. So up here, we just use the shortcut, but if you want to go on the long way using chain rule, this is how you go about it. You still get the same answer. So what is our f prime of zero? So replace where there's x with zero, uh, we will have this as um, exponential zero, cos of zero. Cos of zero is one, exponential zero is one. So this gives one. Okay, moving on swiftly, we want to uh, evaluate f double prime of x. So we will use the product rule. We have two functions here. So let this one be u and let this one be v. So we will be evaluating u prime v plus v prime u. Now, if this is u differentiating exponential sine x, that's what we just did here. We will get exponential sine x cos x multiplied by cos x plus, now differentiating cos x, the derivative of cos x is minus sine x. Multiply this with exponential sine x. So this is our f double prime of x. So what is our f double prime of zero? Replacing with zero where there is x, we will have, so this will give us zero, one, zero, one. So we have one, zero, one. So we have one here. And then because of sine here, sine of zero is zero. So this just gives us one. Then let me write this nicely, the f uh, 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 double prime of x, we will have it as exponential sine x cos squared x, minus sine x exponential sine x. And now we want to evaluate f third prime of x. So the third derivative of this. So here um, uh, I can write this because there's exponential x and exponential x here. I can have this as exponential sine x into cos squared x minus sine x. Then let this be u and let this be v. So u prime v, u prime, the derivative of this, we already know it's exponential sine x cos x multiplied with v, which is cos squared x minus sine x plus v prime u. So v differentiating this, so derivative of cos squared x will be two 
cos x into minus sine x. I.e. what I've done for cos squared is just have cos squared x is the same as um, cos x squared. So differentiating this, this is two into cos x raised to power minus one, multiply with the derivative of what is inside, which is minus sine x. So that's how I've done it. So that's the derivative of this multiplied by exponential sine x. So what is our f third prime of zero? Replacing with zero where there's x. So zero, zero, that will give us one. Zero, this will give us one. One minus zero will give one. So this gives one on this end. And then replacing with zero here, we will just have zero because sine of zero is zero. So the whole of this will give us zero. So eventually that gives us one. Now, finally, let's uh, get uh, the fourth derivative. So I want to rewrite the function um, nicely, simply, so that you can be able to see it clearly. So the third derivative here is, um, let's say, so we have this, try and see if we have any common terms that we can factor out to make our work easy. So here we have exponential sine x, here we have cos x, and here we have, so we can be able to factor out exponential sine x cos x. Then what does that leave us with? So we have cos squared x minus sine x, plus we've factored out this and this actually it's minus minus two sine x. So minus two sine x and minus sine x, you can combine that. So this will give us exponential sine x cos x into cos squared x minus three sine x. So this is our third prime. We want to get the fourth derivative. So what is our f fourth prime of x? Now let the whole of this be u and then let this be v. So what is the derivative of exponential sine x cos x? Now we use product rule. So using product rule very, very fast, differentiate this will give us exponential sine x cos x multiplied with cos x plus differentiating cos x, we have minus sine x multiplied with exponential sine x. All this is just u prime. So u prime multiplied with v and our v is cos squared x minus three sine x plus v prime. So differentiating this, um, uh, differentiating cos squared x, first of all, we'll have two cos x into minus sine x. And then differentiating minus three sine x, we'll have minus three cos x. So the whole of this is V prime multiplied by U. And our U, I'll just write it here, exponential sine x cos x. So what is our F fourth prime of zero? Where there's x we replace with zero. So zero replacing zero, zero there we'll have one. Replacing zero, we'll have zero there. Now we still have this replacing um, uh, zero here, we'll have one, one minus zero, we'll have one. So one multiplied by the whole of this will still give one. Okay, uh, replacing uh, zero, zero here will give us one. Replacing zero here will give us a zero for the whole of this part. So we remain with this part. If we replace zero here, we will have one. So this will give us minus three, minus three multiplied with uh, this, we'll have um, minus three eventually. So this will give us minus two. So now we come and replace our values. Okay, so up to where we've reached so far, I, 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 I feel like there's an error. So I want us to go back and identify the error. Okay, so right here where we were looking at the third prime, I want us to go over it again. Now, um, this is what we had for our second derivative. So differentiating this, the derivative of exponential sine x is exponential sine x cos x. 
multiplied with the derivative of this and the derivative, sorry, multiplied with this. So this is u prime v plus v prime. Differentiating this, we have two, the whole of this, two cos x into minus sine x, and then we didn't differentiate this part here. That's where the problem is coming in. So differentiating that last bit there, the derivative of this, let me write it here, cos squared x minus sine x, just differentiating this alone, we say that you can write that as cos x squared. So this will be two cos x raised to power one and then multiply the derivative of what is inside, which is minus sine x, and then differentiating minus sine x. So that will give us minus cos x. So that's the whole derivative of this. So two cos x minus sine x, and then we have minus cos x which we had not included. So V prime U, and what is our U? Exponential sine X. So in this case, what is our F third prime of zero? Let's replace zero, zero, that gives us one. Zero gives us one again, one minus zero. So we have one there. Replacing on this side, exponential sine X will give us one out here. Then um, uh, cause of this sign, if you put zero here, the whole of this will give zero. So putting zero here, we will have one. So negative one multiplied by one. So this gives us negative one. So eventually the F third prime will give us a zero, will give us a zero. Okay, so now let's go on to the fourth prime and see what we get. So evaluating the fourth prime, F fourth prime of X, uh, allow, us, allow me to first of all simplify simplified so let's see if it has anything in common what's here in common i have exponential x and cos x on both sides so i can write this as exponential sine x cos x if i factor that out what do what do i uh, remain with i have cos squared x minus sine x and then on this other end I have um, a minus, because I've factored out uh, the cos, I've uh, factored out the cos x, cos x. So I remain here with minus two sine x and then minus one. Okay, this is one. So if you remove cos x from here, cos x from here, here you'll remain with minus two sine x and you will, will remain with minus one. So that's what I have, which I can uh, further simplify. I can write this as um, exponential sine x cos x. So exponential sine x cos x, and then this is uh, cos squared x sine x sine x. This gives me minus three sine x minus one. Okay. So now let's differentiate this. So this is our F third prime of X. So what's our F fourth prime of X? So differentiating this, let's call the whole of this U and let's call this V. Then you want U prime V plus V prime U. So U prime, if we can't differentiate this, we will use product rule. So I'll first of all start by differentiating this. I'll get exponential sine X cos X multiplied with cos X. Plus, I differentiate cos x, now I get minus sine x, multiplied with exponential sine x. Now, this is just u prime. The whole of this is u prime, multiplied with v, which is cos squared x minus 3 sine x minus 1. Plus, v prime. So, differentiating this, we're going to have 2 cos x into minus sine x minus three cos x differentiating one will get zero. So this is V prime multiplied with U. U is exponential sine x cos x. So what is our F fourth prime of zero? Let's replace with zero. Replacing zero, zero here will get one. Replacing zero here where the sign, the whole of this will be zero. The whole of this will be one. So we'll have minus three here, but we, let's start from here. So replacing zero, zero here, one, one. Replacing zero here, we'll have zero. So one plus zero, we have one. And then um, uh, replacing, 
So let's write that down. We have one here. Then replacing zero here, we have one. Replacing zero here, we have zero. And then one. So one minus one. One minus one. Uh, replacing zero here, we have zero. One. One minus one will give us zero. Okay. Plus, finally, replacing zero here, we have zero. Zero minus three will give minus three. So we have minus three there. And then replacing zero here, we have one. So eventually this gives us minus three. Okay, fine. So uh, the question wanted us to get to expand exponential sign f up to the term x4 using Maclaurin series, hence integrate. So now we have our f1 is uh, one, our f, uh, f prime of zero, one, f double prime of zero, one, zero. So coming to write the expansion for exponential sign x, f0, our f0, we got it as one, plus x, f prime of zero, plus x squared over two factorial f double prime of zero. So we also got this as one. For x cubed, we got x cubed as zero, and we also got uh, the fourth prime as zero. Okay, so uh, plus x cubed over three factorial f prime of uh, zero, we got it, f prime of three, we got it to be zero plus x raised to power four over four factorial and the f fourth prime of zero, we got it to be negative three. So the Maclaurin series expansion, if we are to simplify this, this is one plus x plus x squared over two factorial, this gives zero. And then this last bit is minus three, uh, x raised to power four over four factorial. Now the question wanted us to evaluate the integral uh, from zero to one of exponential sin x. So evaluating the integral from zero to one of, of exponential sin x dx, this is the same as us evaluating the integral from zero to one of this here. So x squared over uh, two factorial minus three x raised to power four over four factorial dx. So integrating this, this simply gives x plus x squared over two plus x cubed over three. And don't forget we have two factorial here, minus three x raised to power five over five multiplied by four factorial. Integral is from zero to one. Then you can replace your values of one, and then replace zero. So replacing one, we have one plus uh, one over two plus one over three into two factorial minus uh, three, replacing one here, we have one over five into four factorial, all this minus zero. If you replace zero, 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 zero here. And if you evaluate that, you get your answer. So that's how we go about that question.